here we go we are finally camping for the season this is our first trip we are at the El Verano campground outside of Westcliff Colorado and we got everything all set up we've camped here pretty much every year probably since 2011 or 2012 last year we did not come here for some reason so we are excited to be back here we're in spot number one never camped here before but we dig the spot so far. It's gonna be a nice long trip. Hey, what's going on over here? Eating some dinner? Eating some dinner, playing. Got things set up. We got a really nice view here. I see the Sasa here. Yeah. The grandmas are next door. We have no neighbors over here. Got a nice view of the wet mountains out there. It was a really nice this, private what, what campsite. Fire? On this side, fire, fire. got some nice tree coverage. You get some good shade in the afternoon. Super private spot. We are definitely a fan of this spot. And she says, Hi, TJ. Oh, well, is my milkshake ready? Oh, thank you. Oh, yummy. That is a good, good milkshake. Thank you. Thank you. A little fire action here. Milkshake brings out the boys to the yard. Pay no attention to the singing. Nice view. We just had some dinner and now we're going for an AT ride before bath time and sleepy time. What do you see down there, buddy? Um, a creek. A creek, yeah, that's nice. That's like your sound machine, huh? It's been that's what's great about the mountains. Cools down nice at night time. 64 outside at 7.40. We will take that. We're at about 9,000 feet elevation, so. Playing in the camper for bed. Nice and early, 41 degrees outside. The sun is starting to come up. Ooh, and bright. sunrise! And sunrise! And so the adventure begins. Some new camping mugs. It's a little after six, we made some coffee. I love this thing. Don't have to get the generator fired up, just warm up some water and you're good. Got the awning put out. Looks really pretty with the sun coming through the aspens like that. We are already charging with solar. So we have our inverter going and we are charging up our walkie talkies. Super pretty morning out. And again, this space is just so private with all these trees. It's awesome. So awesome. Little outdoor camping stove. Making some coffee. We got a fire going. Pork chops with cauliflower fried rice. We just got done having some breakfast and a fire. Probably about 9 a.m. We're gonna head into town. We've got a couple of stores that we need to run to. And then we'll come back here and play around. So we are here at the Ace on West Cliff and they have this sweet little cabin, 24 by 28. You can buy all the materials here for it. And 
now with that land that we have, if we wanted to build a cabin, it would pretty much be exactly like this. So it's definitely cool to check out. Can't really see much, but I'll take a little video. Hey, buddy. We are at the West Cliff Park. Pretty sweet park. Gorgeous view of the mountains, too. Alvarado Campgrounds right back there. Yummy, yummy lunch. We were sleeping so cute when we came back. Marjorie. Oh. I've been told to show everyone these. <laughs> <laughs> we just got up from a nap and it was amazing. Little guys just uh, wasting water. <laughs> we might go for an ATV ride. Got some new neighbors that rolled in too. really pretty creek here on this little bridge. Here's a super pretty meadow just by the Horn Peak Trailhead. Got done doing an ATV ride. Solar's been doing awesome today. Running 38.8 amp hours. Battery's at 13 volts. Doesn't get much above that. It'll go up to like 13.6 when it's sunny. And then drop down. We're only bringing in 0.7 amps right now. That's probably about it for the day. I'm gonna take a shower and then have some dinner. Oh man, that looks so good. What are you eating over here? Oh mister. We got our little helper here. Good job. Put it right, stack them up. I think this one just a Just a little one, huh? <laughs> it's raining, then it's not. Then it's raining, then it's not. We're retreating under the awning. Oh, George, that's enough. <laughs> oh, it's picking up. The little guy just went down for the night, and uh, it is raining pretty good. We're going to head back over to Cotton Sandy's and maybe uh, get the fire going again. I don't know. We'll see. The rain is starting to pick up. solar lights just turned on we got a nice pathway to our camper here what'd you do over here what did you do over here what'd you do over here i hooked up I'm, oh I, I just came over i just what did you do uh, i hooked that onto so, what are those that you have? Uh, winch cables. Winch cables? I thought those were ratchet straps. Did you 
hear the horsey? What are they? I don't know. Shh, don't yell at, don't yell for him. Uh, it's morning, Saturday morning. Got pretty windy last night, there's TJ. It's warm out already though, it's already 60. Didn't get nearly as cold last night. It was in the upper 50s. But it was windy. That's where it's nice to have a hard side camper. I feel for the uh, tenters out there. They probably were up most of the night. Hey, what do you have there? What is that? Hey, buddy, what is that? It's got a caterpillar. We'll put him on your city. What is that, buddy? A caterpillar. It's a caterpillar. Don't smush. Sm You're going on an adventure? Yeah. Yeah. An adventure. Wee! Holy smokes, what is this? What is this? Oh my goodness. <sighs> George, look, you can play right down here. It's a little muddy. That's pretty, huh? What, what is this that we're looking at here? A creek. A creek? Yeah. Nice creek. You playing over here? Just playing, hanging out, gonna hey, have some breakfast. The is on top of this. We we're getting some great solar this trip. We have our little power inverter going with the extension cord. <laughs> we're charging uh, Renee's phone, our walkie talkies and then running this little fan. 73 outside and 73 inside. That little fan just gives us a nice breeze in here because it's pretty still at the moment. Yummy breakfast burritos or brunch burritos, I guess, because it's like 10.30. Oh, yummy. Gonna chow down here and then go for a little hike. Out for a little hike. Here's a work center. It's a nice day out. There's a creek again. You like the creek, buddy? Just out for a little hike. Doing some mitigation efforts over here. There's our camper. Just got done going for a hike and now we're just hanging out. The little guy's gonna eat some lunch. And then it's nap time. You gotta take a nap? Yep. Yep. Waiting for a nap. We had eggs. After dinner, I told my dad a ghost story. Boy, did he get scared. Everybody's sleeping. I gave my dad a big hug. So the little guy and Renee went into town to grab something. And I was gonna do a review on these amazing things because this is the first camping trip that we use them and they are unbelievably nice. Don't make your camper rock at all. But uh, man, it is just pouring. Usually storms don't last forever though up here so I think we'll be getting a little bit. 
see we have a leak up there in our gutter. I have not sealed this side. I sealed the other side. I replaced the spouts on the other side, but I did not do it on this side. So I am glad I saw that because I will definitely do that when I replace these spouts. I love it when I can see upgrades they do the camper in action. There is the old spout. You can see it's just hitting the side of the camper. Here is the new Camco RV gutter spout. And you can see it is shooting the water out to the side. It's not in the camper. I got two more uh, with the package. I just got to get them installed on that other side and this is definitely going to give me that extra nudge to, to get it done. Well, it has been raining for quite a bit now. It was even hailing a little bit ago. But uh, we used to backpack along the Rainbow Trail here and do some of the, the uh, high mountain lakes like Comanche Lake and Venable Lakes and Lake of the Clouds. And probably about 75-80% of the time it would end up raining like this. And uh, I have used this rain gear quite a bit for sure. And man, it is nice right now to have a hard-sided travel trailer because when you're out backpacking and it's raining all that like this, it's just miserable. And uh, up there, right now, shoot, it's probably 40 degrees out there. Um, what, mister? What are you doing? The what? Caterpillars. Caterpillars? Oh, I don't know. He's been finding all these caterpillars. But yeah, they're probably freezing up there right now because they're at like 11,000 feet. Yeah, They're probably pretty cold, huh? Not the caterpillars, the backpackers. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Man, those look good. Oh, yummy. Yeah, I'll get it by, behind your yummy, back. yummy, yummy. Yeah, and it stopped raining, so we might be able to have a fire. She's crackling. Crackling, crackling. It's clear on the peak up there. I'm sure those backpackers got some good rain. There's TJ hanging out down there. Got a nice fire going. Mama and the little guy are laughing away. That's a good boy, TJ. Ooh, good dog. Hey, he's putting the little guy down. DJ and I are just hanging out by the fire. Those clouds are crazy looking. Mama's still putting the little guy down. So it's just TJ and I. So we woke up pretty early. It's almost six here. 50 degrees outside, it got down to 47. And it was rainy and windy last night. I feel bad for all the tent campers out there. We didn't hear too much in here, but we're gonna get things packed up and we're gonna head out early. I gotta do some work stuff later and got some other stuff to get down around the house. So, thank you guys for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.